Hey, my name is Martin and welcome to this new RPG Tools tutorial. This time I will talk about how to spawn objects. And for that we will use our existing level of the content package. But of course you can use any, any level you want. And so the goal is we want to spawn objects and of course we want to say where we want to spawn these objects and at first to define where we want to place objects we will use areas. Areas have a separate layer so when you go to placement you can select the area layer which every level has by default and when you select it you see all the areas this level already has some areas, the sort of starting area. Um, I will save it as a new level because I don't want to change the existing one. Um, town spawn. It's just a test, so I will delete it afterwards. And now we can create a new area where we want to spawn our objects. Um, you can have different shapes, so rectangle, a circle or a fixed position. And when you use a shape with a volume like a rectangle or a circle, then spawning inside an area will always choose a random position, which can be a nice feature if you spawn multiple objects, then they will automatically be distributed. So let's click on add area and then enter a name. Let's call it spawn underscore zero one. The color is just for you to, to visualize it. So it doesn't matter for, for the functionality. And now, um, yeah, let's just use this area. You can drag and then stop dragging to finish the creation of this area. So that's the first part and now we need to define what we want to spawn. And for that we use prefabs. Prefabs are templates of objects you can place. And the easiest way to create a prefab is to create an object as you like. In this case, we will use a unit. Maybe, yeah, we will use a wolf. And then we go to game logic and set the behavior to wander so he will move around and maybe we will just recolor it yeah some kind of ghost wolf so i placed it now I press escape because I don't want to place a second one and uh, select it. And when you click on prefab, you can click on save as prefab, which automatically creates a new entry with a default name. And it's, it's the name of the unit by default. And then you can change the name. In this case, let's call it ghost wolf. and save it. So we will, we will delete this one. So I select it and press Okay, I'm in the wrong mode. Um, I will go to add object again and select it and press delete to delete the wolf we want to spawn the runtime 
And to spawn it, the easiest way is to use the in-game event system. Here we have conditions and actions, but you can combine. And we already have an action which plays a music. And now we will add a new element. And add an action. And here we choose spawn object. And here you can select which object to spawn. So in this case, we want to spawn our wolf. And enter the name of the area spawn underscore zero one. Let's check if the name is correct. And I need to implement a combo box here so you can't have typos. But that's a different topic. So that, that's it. Um, yeah, let's try it out. Okay, I didn't want to place this area. So let's press F5 to start the game and there is the wolf. So it spawned directly at when you start the game and was wandering around, so it seems to work. Um, we can add an initial delay if you want to. So let's wait a few seconds, four seconds. One, two, four. And there it is. And we can also repeat this action if you want to. If you click on repeat, then here you see a repeat delay. So just for testing, let's spawn a new wolf every second after waiting for four seconds. And let's test it again. First wolf is terror. And the second wolf appears. At least that's the easiest way to spawn objects. And as you saw, objects can be anything which you can place in the object layer. So you can spawn particles that way, you can spawn houses and almost everything. So it's uh, quite flexible. That's it for this tutorial. So if you have any questions, let me know, ideally in Discord, but you can also ask me wherever you want. <laughs> so thanks for listening. See you next time. Bye.